All right, you guys, we're doing it. We're gonna only eat at the sketchiest restaurants we can find for the next 24 hours again. This is part three, let's get on it. You know, if filming doesn't work out, Jake, they are hiring. Oh yeah, let me just drive four hours to get to work. We're in East Tennessee, by the way. Let's keep it low. So we're checking out the menu right now, and I want to just point out one thing. Like, everything is so cheap here. Like, I remember people were saying Tennessee was cheap, and then we got to Nashville, and it wasn't that much cheaper than anywhere else in the world, but this is a great deal. Hey, how are you? No, no worries. Hey, how are you? Can we get two Americano coffees? And then I'm gonna do this big old timer's breakfast. Okay. You can get tenderloin, country ham, bacon, or sausage. Ooh. I'll do a tenderloin. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. And then I'll do hash browns. How would you like your eggs? Um, over easy. And biscuits and gravy? Yes, please. And then for him, he's gonna get this fried bologna sandwich. It's bologna. Oh, I've never seen it spelt like that. And then we also want a French toast. I'll have it up just a little Thank bit. you so Thank much. You. You're appreciated. You're appreciated. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> what did you say? That you're appreciated. Yeah, I heard that you're a piece of shit. <laughs> That's so messed up. That's what I was trying to say is the prices on the menu are insane. Okay, so it's $10.99 for a whole breakfast platter, $4 for a sandwich, 6 bucks for some fresh toast. Like, this is the Tennessee prices we've been waiting on. We just went to the wrong city. But yeah, we were in the wrong city the whole time. Right now, technically we're in East Tennessee. It's the most eastern point of Tennessee. We're in Bristol. We might actually be in Virginia at this point. We've been we driving stand for a on both sides. There's a point. We'll do that today. You guys are hungry. We are ready to grub. Oh, that smells oh, so good. Atlanta. There's the Bologna. Thank, Thank you. you. Food is here. Let's check it out. Gosh, I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting like a, like a cold cut, like <laughs> mom packed my lunch for school type of vibe, you know? But I think it's going to need some sauce right off the bat. Oh. <laughs> it's All messing with this It's going to be hot now. That's a good sandwich. Surprisingly? Mm. Yeah. It tastes like that. If our mom put love into a sandwich when she made our school lunches, it tastes like this. Wow. It's good. So the first thing I'm going to start with here is the biscuits and gravy. If you look at the ratio of the biscuit versus the gravy, like, was that needed? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to go in it. Is there butter? You don't need butter. Just dunk it. This is a thick biscuit, man. You could dumbbell curl these things. Here we go. You ready for this? Oh, whoa. Oh. It doesn't even stick to it. That's insane. Here goes nothing. The biscuit's yeah. fine. Gravy's a little plain. Biscuit's phenomenal. Gravy needs some work. Dry as hell. I think this is just a white gravy, white sauce gravy. It's not really like a, a sausage gravy, so there's no real like saltiness to it. It's kind of bland, but the biscuits, real good. That looks good. I was a little confused when she said that they make it from scratch, but then she didn't actually make it from scratch. Well, they take the toast and then they, it could have been frozen, but they ain't no Eggos. <laughs> the one bite king. Damn, that one piece of bread. <laughs> It's mm. mm. a mighty fine French toast right there. Okay, okay. I would have liked if they put some butter on it. Before. A little, little cute butter melted over. It's good. So I'm gonna jump into my big old country meal right here. It's all not that big of a meal to be honest. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. I'm thinking of like the deluxe breakfast over at uh, IHOP where it's a big old plate filled with stuff. But either way, let's see if they cook the eggs right first. We got what we needed. They're not seasoned, so I'm gonna throw a little pepper. I'm gonna throw a little salt. And we're gonna go at this. Don't miss your mouth now, boy. Mm, that's good. Wait, how could you go wrong on an egg? We're gonna try the hash browns now. We got some fancy ketchup. I don't know what makes it fancy. I'm usually a Heinz guy. But we gonna try it anyways. Ooh, real soft. Real soft. She didn't live on the skillet long enough. No, no. Mm, those ain't hash browns. Them potato slices. <laughs> it's good though. It's good. It's just, I don't think a hash brown, I want them fried. You know, like I want them crunchy. Last but not least, Oh my, this tenderloin right here. That looked like it was frozen. Oh, and it's a tenderloin, a uh, pork? I think so. I think it's pork. We're gonna try this tenderloin. Let's see how it tastes. I got the wrong meal, man. Whole thing, all the way wrong. 
It dries out, man. It looked like a piece of wood that was set out in the ocean for too yeah. long. Some driftwood. Yeah, it don't taste very right. It don't taste very right at all. This is definitely previously frozen. It doesn't have any flavor. It's dry, it's hard to swallow, and it's not very good. I think the best thing I had here is the biscuits on their own, or maybe these hash browns. Take another. Bacon. The bacon's good. Mm. How you go wrong with that, though? Okay, so that was more old than sketch. It looks kind of sketchy from outside, but yeah. it's definitely just an old ass place for old people. Yeah, the food was okay. It was all right. So we're gonna see what else we can find here for lunch. Let's do it. Here it is, folks. Virginia on the left, Tennessee on the right. All right, we're in Virginia. Let's go back to Tennessee. <laughs> here we are, back in Tennessee, y'all. Uh, oh my God, what's underneath? A brick wall. Anyways, guys, for our next meal, we're here at Bolton's. The place is literally falling apart, so fingers crossed the food tastes better than the actual restaurant looks. Come on. Do you order inside? I think so. Oh. Oh, that's deceiving. Interesting. I didn't see the lights on. I didn't think it was going to be open. Alrighty, alrighty. First time here. First yes, time. Sir. What are you guys most famous for? Like, is it the uh, sandwich or is it like an entree meal? Our fish tail grill, but why didn't it catfish? Catfish and tenders. tenders. Okay, there okay, we go. That, that's our mine right there. Number one show. Awesome, let's do that then. Alright. So, do you want the catfish plate or just a sandwich? Um, let's do the plate. Let's get a plate. Your two sides. Uh, let's get baked beans and mac and cheese. Baked beans and next. And then we want to get uh, the tenders. Let's do the tenders. Okay, tenders plate. Your two sides for this. Um, let's do, we'll do for this one, coleslaw and spaghetti. That's interesting. Coleslaw and spaghetti? Yes, sir. All right, $34.96. Okay, so look, you guys know the rule. Let's wait for that to stop squeaking. You can't judge a book by its cover. Just because the place looks how it does, don't mean it ain't great. So I guess we we'll wait and see. Yo, I was just about to sit down here and check this out. You gotta be extra careful. You smash your hand in this, you're getting a tetanus shot everywhere. That doesn't seem very safe. Let's go sit over here instead. <laughs> this one's not much better. Oh my God, it looks like a hurricane hit this and really warped the wood. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not getting any rusty nails stabbed into me. That's my main concern. I'll deal with a little warping. I think we're good. 20 minutes later. All right, y'all, the food just got here. Let's check this out, okay? So it all comes nicely boxed. First reaction, it's the first time I'm gonna see it with y'all. Okay. Okay, surprisingly looks decently good. You get a piece of Wonder Bread with your hot chicken. Um, it looks like it's a powdered hot chicken all over there. This one we did go light medium or light mild, one of the two. Next, oh, a catfish sandwich. Okay, That's I wasn't expecting it to be a sandwich, good. but this place is known for their hot, spicy chicken and fish, so we had to try it. Then we get sides. They're oh, down there. They were hiding. I wonder, we got some spaghetti. I didn't see any spaghetti. Oh, there, oh. Okay, the spaghetti looks a little debatable. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start with this chicken, okay? Because they're known for the chicken here. Let's just taste one of these. We got a pickle there to cool us down if we need to. I think these are thighs. I'm not sure, legs, maybe wings, I don't know. Here we go. Tender one. It has some oh, heat. Oh, wow. That's light mild. Oh, I feel like I just taste a whole lot of batter around and hot seasoning. The chicken, it's not that juicy. Not juicy at all. It looks better than it tastes. It looks real good. It looks goldenly crispy. It looks perfectly deep fried. And let me tell you, it's drier than a skunk. All right, let's try the spaghetti. The spaghetti looks horrendous. It's like good old SpaghettiOs minus the O's. Mmm. Not bad. Tastes like cafeteria food, but it's kind of good. This tastes like it's spaghetti that was made a few days ago, put in the refrigerator, uh -huh. and reheated. You can tell because the sauce is all already kind of dried up on the noodle. It's soggy, the noodle itself. Not very great. Let's try this coleslaw. And this place, uh, this place is like so <clears throat> much mayo on that. I don't know if I want to try that. This place is like a sus, but <coughs> that's hot. The chicken is like a, a deep roaster. My lips are on fire right now. That's a kick to it. Try that, man. You love coleslaw, come on. Oh, try no, it, no, try no, it, no, no, no. you gotta try it. We all try things here. <laughs> My lips are on fire right now, and we didn't even try the really hot one. Oh, give a real taste. It was. No, you try these little baby ones. People not. comment about that. They're like, Jake needs to try it. Come on, there you go, you love coleslaw. <laughs> oh my fork shake. Was that really nice? <laughs> Why'd you leave your fork there? Good thing I got another. 
I'm on fire right gonna now. It's going to be hotter. Oh my God, so you could see the seasoning on there. I think I'm just going to take a bite of it. Yeah. Oh God, Lord be with me, man. Here we go. I'm nervous as me hell. Too. My I lips are on water. fire. All right, the pickle helps it a little bit, but damn, you feel that one on your lips. That one's good, as though. As soon as your lips touch it. The fish is real nice, though. Yeah, I like this. That one's real good. I feel like they should be known more. for their catfish and not their chicken. It's good, but let's think about all the other places that we've had our catfish. It's like, it's- There's better. There's better. So it's just, it's good for what we're eating right now at this spot. But it is po it's so hot. I would never drive back and no way. this. No way, and my lips are on fire. They weren't joking about the heat, man. Let me try this. Uh, Some baked beans. Moving on quick, because my lips are dying. Baked beans are alright. They are, but they're, they're almost like not homemade. They're like from a can, I feel like. The bean has some good flavor. These green beans scare me. Yeah, these look like they're out of a can. Not bad either. Okay. So look, half Do you want to try this place out? Yeah, if, if this really tickles your fancy, I mean, I would say go for the catfish. It was a lot better than the chicken, but I feel like at the end of the day, it's like you can throw a catfish in a deep fryer and how's it gonna dry out? How's it fit, you know what I mean? It's not. It's not. The chicken, on the other hand, it's dry as the Sahara word. This, I'm not funny. Yeah, no, no, no. So far, pretty disappointing for today, but let's see what dinner holds for us, shall we? Let's go. Hope it's better than this. The sun is setting here in Tennessee, which means it's dinner time. And we got a pretty sketchy looking spot behind us, but it's packed with people. So that means it's gotta be maybe good. Let's go find out for ourselves, come on. It's called Grill Shack Fries and Burgers. When there's this many people, I'm down to try it, am I right? Line's booming. Booming, all right, go check the menu out up there. How you doing, my man? All right, so we're gonna do Grill Shack burger and fries, add the onions, add the bacon, make it a double, and add the four-piece wings. What kind of wings you like? Buffalo. And then we're gonna do another one of them, uh, just adding the onions and making it a double. Okay, anything else? I think that's it. A few minutes later. We got the food. Let's start grubbing because I'm starving. All right, you guys, that sketchy restaurant caught way too dark, way too fast. So we had to take it home, but let's check it out, shall we? I will tell you that drive home, man, it smelled good. Okay, so first things first, our wings. Um, you know, maybe they're not so famous for their wings. Let's hope the burgers are a little bit better. So now let's see the burger. Hold on, let me flip this. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I like these giant fries though, because when you bite into one of these, you know you're gonna enjoy that. Do it. it looks crispy. Do it. Okay. Do it. Oh my, the crunch. Amazing crunch. Thick potatoes down there. You're really getting a mouthful of fry here. I can get behind this. But let's see how that burger is. Tripod it, Jake. I heard someone talking about their ranch is special ranch, so I don't. Hmm. Weird. Ooh. I don't, I don't know. I like that. I don't like that. Let's whip out our actual ranch, shall we? I'm gonna try to grab all the little excess because it looks a little dry. Not the best. It was probably frozen. It's like whatever, but at the same time, I'm hungrier than a hippo right now, so I'm gonna eat, suck this bone dry. <laughs> It's not bad, it's not the best wing ever. But the it's, thing is, is like they might just be known for their burgers. Yeah, it's a side. So this place puts all the sides on the side. And keep in mind, each one of these burgers are doubles. Show yours, because yours shows a little bit more of the double action. Mine just looks like one piece, big piece of meat. It doesn't have like your traditional American cheese in there. It has something fancy, fancy, some, I don't even know what they called it, but I'm gonna add all this stuff in there. I'm gonna add the pickles in there, and that's about it, because I already got grilled. You remember, you already got onions in there. Not anymore. Okay, stinky breath. He ain't kissing no one tonight. Nope. <laughs> all right, let's try Try this thing, it's greasy as ever, but let's go for it. Mmm, nice pink. It's pretty good, there's a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. Like they're full like patties. And I'm not complaining about that because sometimes you get a little screwed, basically. But I did read something online that says you shouldn't have pink burgers because it's ground beef and it should be thoroughly cooked through. So, will we get sick? I don't know, yours looks a lot more red than mine. Yeah. I will say, it's a decent burger. It's the best thing we've had today. Oh, for sure. Today has been not so great. So this is something I'm gonna finish up and I'm gonna enjoy. I do like the caramelized onions in there. It gives a little sweetness. Yeah, a little tang. And then I got the bacon, which gives it a little bit more saltiness. And then the meat, man. The cheese and the meat, just it's mouthful. They're doing real good with the cheese. They, they're killing it with the cheese. They're killing it with the fries. They're not killing it with the wings. 
I do want to point out these tomatoes. They're very vibrant in color, which means they're fresh. Got to show respect to a fresh tomato. Those are fake. Plastic. Definitely not plastic. <laughs> What do you think of the fries? I think they're they're really seasoned now. They are really, really salty. I don't know if I, some of them are real crunchy. Yeah, some of them are real soft. All right, so there you have it. We ate at the sketchiest restaurant for 24 hours, and let's just say dinner came in clutch. If you guys are enjoying these sketch videos and you want us to do more, let us know in the comments down below where you live and you want us to come try some sketchy spots, and we'll come to you. I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous, praying that I'll stop this